This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, GME is under attack by the naked shoulders. I mean, everybody knows it. The evidence of it is overwhelming. Yet, our law enforcement agencies, our regulatory agencies sit on the sideline while this goes down. It's absolutely crazy. And you guys, I know I tell you guys this every day. Had somebody told me three years ago that the United States stock market was this corrupt, I would have told them, no, that is impossible. This is not a third world country. But I have come to the conclusion after three years in this play, if three years of doing the DD they say we don't do, and three years of doing investigations, that we are the most corrupt stock market on the entire planet, okay? And I believe that our regulatory agencies are put in place to protect the big dogs not to protect retail investors, not to protect pension funds, not to protect the integrity of the market, but to protect the big dogs to make sure that they don't fail. That is what I have, that's an assessment I have come to after three years watching everything that goes on in this market. Anyway, when it comes to GME, GME, red, green, you guys know it doesn't matter to me. Because until they run out of liquidity or the SEC starts enforcing the rules of the market, this nightmare will continue. But I don't believe they can do it forever. I tell you guys that every day. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell GME. But I'm telling you that they can't do this forever. They can't. The, you know, the, the, the liquidity is drying up. If you look at my previous video, the... the the, the entire system is in trouble. The Federal Reserve lost 116 billion, 161 billion rather, 161 billion since 2023. You know, the entire economy is in trouble, and I believe it's because they allowed all this malfeasance to go on. I believe it's because the SEC refused to enforce the rules of the market. Anyway, I, I digress. Anyway, here's the numbers for, for GME. Numbers for GME. Well, the reported numbers, 3,509,144. You know those numbers mean absolutely nothing. And I, I'm going to do a video where I explain in detail why these numbers mean absolutely nothing. Because people have been asking me and I've just been caught up that I didn't get a chance to do it. They're still reporting 49.04% of the shares are DRS, which means, makes no sense to me. It should be a whole lot more based on everything I've seen in the market. Um... The calls of the money, 598 at $20, additional 36759 But in my opinion, as long as they can keep creating counterfeit shares or keep loaning the same shares over and over again, the calls in the money mean absolutely nothing. It means absolutely nothing because they never have to hedge. They never have to gamma squeeze. So, I mean, it will never gamma squeeze because they don't have to hedge. And then 69.4% of that volume was shorted shares, of that reported volume was shorted shares. So like 2,400,000 shares were shorted. Where did these shares come from? Where did they originate? I'd love to see the chain of custody, maybe the blue sheets. That is not going to happen. You know why? Because they don't exist. They don't exist. They come out the market maker's computer. They're shorted into the market or the brokers are lending the same shares over and over and over again. And then they just send the FTDs overseas so they're no longer counted. This has to be <laughs> the biggest crime. And, and I'm, not, I'm not, not just talking financial. This goes beyond financial. <laughs> this is the biggest crime in the history of the planet, what's going on in United States stock market. And of course, the dates to cover went up to 17.15 dates to cover. But the numbers, I believe, are actually a whole lot higher when you take into account the 
billions of counterfeit GME shares that I believe are out there. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that they covers that they're reporting to? Do you think that's accurate or do you think it's a whole lot higher? Anyway, have a great day. God bless and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.